There is no great city in the world that can't boast of having a first-class transportation system. Uh, and I would submit to anyone who asks uh, what is the value here, that, that we are connecting uh, the mega metropolis to the north, Toronto, and the mega metropolis to the east, uh, New York City, by dramatically reducing the travel time uh, between these cities. Um, and when we talk about the mega metropolises, we're talking about, you know, the economic epicenter of Canada and the economic epicenter of the United States and creating easy access to, to both from all of the cities in between. There's some misunderstanding about the true definition of high speed. I mean, there's two categories of high speed rail. There's high speed, which is generally 110 to 125 miles per hour, which is what the Northeast Corridor is, the, the only high speed rail corridor in, in, in the United States, which is completely electrified, uh, that connects Washington, New York, and Boston. Um, and then there's very high speed rail, uh, which is more along the lines of what uh, Europe and Japan have, uh, the bullet train which uh, typically is, you know, 150 to 200 miles per hour. Um, in the short term, my vision, and I think the vision of David Patterson, is to have high-speed rail. Ultimately, um, we ought to be shooting for very high-speed rail, but in order to do a bullet train, 200 miles per hour, uh, connecting Niagara Falls and New York City, you have to have a completely independent, um, standalone corridor which will require buying all the land um, and, uh, uh, you know, massive environmental impact studies, seeker, blah, blah, blah. That's probably 20 years away. 20 years away and $20 billion. I call it the, the Erie Canal of the 21st century. Um, I believe that just like there were a lot of naysayers, and what was the term you used? The fail rail. The fail rail. Um, what did they say about the Erie Canal in the early 1800s? Uh, uh, Clinton's folly. Um, they laughed. They said, this is a disaster. Why are we spending so much money on, uh, on this initiative? Um, well, in this case, we're replicating the best practices uh, of Europe and Japan, um, where they realize that uh, uh, plane travel between short distances, inner city plane travel, um, doesn't make sense. Um, our airports are bursting at the seams in New York City. Um, our, our, our air is uh, highly congested and um, there's enormous environmental uh, benefits as well. You can't just add a new lane to a highway when uh, it reaches capacity. Um, here we're talking about an environmentally friendly, um, uh, economically sound uh, form of transportation to ease the congestion elsewhere and to give access to uh, both individuals, families, and commerce to all of these upstate cities. It's probably uh, three to five years away before we can claim that the Empire Corridor is a high-speed corridor. There will be sections of the track uh, over the next three years that will become high-speed. High-speed is typically defined as 110 miles per hour. Um, but the entire project uh, from Niagara Falls to Albany uh, probably will not be complete until uh, five years from now. Work can begin right now.